Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom, Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. I'm Officer Yikiel. Officer Nashon, Shalom, Most High in Christ, bless. So today's topic is going to for Greeks to Romans to Americans. We want to go into the Bible and show that when the Bible speaks about Greeks or sometimes Romans, we want to show that uh, it's actually talking about Israel. It's talking about all people that was in captivity in these lands. And we want to show you how, how it uh, resembles today the captivity of America that we're, going, that we're currently in. So to, uh, first scripture, let me get Romans 15, verse 4. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, mm -hmm. that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So we want to go to, we want to be able to go into the Bible and, and show that uh, these things that happened aforetime in the past are actually happening today. And it's going to relate to us. We're going to be able to identify with the things that happen in the Bible and show, show that, you know, it's talking about all people. Read, read on. Verse 5. No, that's it. That's it on that. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Because only a certain people are going to be able to identify with what took place to this particular people in the Bible. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. Okay, so I go to, I went to Deuteronomy 1 and 1 to show who this book is written to and addressed to. All Israel. Okay, give me Deuteronomy 4 and 27. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 27. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. Read it for from the top again. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. So the, the Lord, a prophecy of the, uh, that God gave unto Israel that he was going to scatter us among the nations, among the other nationalities. Read on. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. And ye shall be what? Left few in number among the heathen. So one, one prophecy that was that we was going to be scattered among, the, uh, among the, the other nations or the heathen. And we will be left few in number, okay? Uh, give me Deuteronomy 28 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, so... One of the curses was that we would be, read it from the top again. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we didn't listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which uh -huh. I command thee this day. What Moses commanded him that day, remember we went to verse 1 and 1, Moses speaking to all Israel. So if they didn't hearken unto uh, what the Most High gave to Moses to give the children of Israel, Read on. That all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah, all, uh, that curses are going to follow them. Let's get one of the curses. Okay, it, it, it's a plethora of curses that we can go through, but we mainly want to stick to the, them being scattered, Israel being scattered. So let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people mm -hmm. from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Uh -huh. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy 
nor thy fathers have known, mm -hmm. even wood and stone. So one, one of the curses was that we would be scattered among, among all people and uh, even one end of the earth unto the other, okay? And we would serve these other, when, when we would be scattered, of course, it was captivity, okay? The Most High God used the other nations to scatter us. And when we scattered them, we served their gods. Because why? We was in captivity, okay? Wood and stone, going to your uh, Christianity and your Islam, among other uh, uh, religions that we follow, okay? Would that give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68? Deuteronomy chapter 28. In verse 68, mm -hmm. and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships mm -hmm. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. So another curse was the Lord was going to bring us into Egypt with ships, okay, by the way he spoke unto us, okay. So the, the children of Israel, uh, they, they walked into Egypt and walked out of Egypt. So this is talking about another captivity. Egypt is a Greek word that means uh, captivity or slavery. So... This particular uh, uh, time, they said he was going to bring them back into captivity with ships. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. So they couldn't, they would not see their homeland of Jerusalem again. Israel. Read on. And there uh -huh. ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. That's showing you that the other nations uh, took them and scattered them. That's showing you that the other nations was uh, played a hand in uh, them being scattered among ships. Read on. For bondmen. So they were sold uh, by, the, by our enemies unto bondmen, for bondmen. And bondwomen. And bondwomen, uh-huh. And no man shall buy you. No man shall redeem you but our, but our Lord and Savior Christ, all right? And um, one, two, one, two. When you, when you think about when it says to be sold, that's not a light thing, you know, because we have, um, what do you call it, laws on human trafficking. So when it's telling you that you're being sold, we erase the history of slavery as if it was just a, a pastime. But the, Lord, the Most High has a judgment for that. Get that in Deuteronomy chapter 24 and verse 7. I'm going to get right back to you, officer. You good. Deuteronomy chapter 24 and verse 7. If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel and maketh merchandise of him, or sell of him. So when it says for us to be sold, that was not supposed to happen. There's a law against that. That's why you have laws that deal with human trafficking. Go ahead. Then that thief shall die, and thou shall put evil from among you. So the most I takes that thing, does he doesn't take it lightly when it comes to dealing with human trafficking. So let's keep that in mind. Don't erase slavery as if it, it just didn't happen as the officer is getting ready to bring out. These things happen in the Greek captivity to Rome and to America. Right. So just because we're in America now, don't take what we're bringing out lightly as if the Most High sees it as such. He says that if that man stole somebody and sells him, he's supposed to die. All right? Go ahead, officer. Oh, praise him. Good point. Good point, officer. All right. Uh, next script, let me get Deuteronomy 32 and 26. Remember the point. We will be scattered. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. I said, I will scatter th them into corners. Read, read, read that from the top again. I said. Uh, uh, the most I said, because he already, he's already told us that he was going to scatter us. He said, I, I told, basically saying, I told y'all. I said, read on. I would scatter them uh -huh. into corners. Uh -huh. and, and, he, and he made full of his promise. Read on. I would make the remembrance of them to cease. Now we're, now we're called uh, so-called African-American, uh, Haitian, Jamaican. He said, I would make the remembrance of them to cease. We, nobody on earth is called the Israelites. When you, go, when you fill out a job, uh, when you fill out an application, nobody uh, uh, marks Israelite. On there and, and what tribe they're from. So the remembrance of us has, has ceased already. Read on. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from uh -huh. among men. Uh huh. Where it, verse 27, where. That's it. it. That's it. That's it on that one. Let me get uh, Isaiah 11 and 11. See, I Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass in that day. That the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. That was scattered. Read on. Which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt. So they were scattered from Assyria, Egypt. Read on. And from Pathros. Uh-huh. And from Cush. And Ethiopia. From, 
and from Elam, uh-huh. and from Shinar. India, we don't. And, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Uh-huh. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. Assemble who? The outcasts of Israel. Those that were scattered, read on. And gather together the the dispersed of Judah. Okay, so he was gonna uh, he was gonna uh, uh, assemble the outcasts of uh, of Israel, which is the northern kingdom, and and gather the dispersed of Judah, which is the southern kingdom. Read on. From, from the four corners of the earth. From the from actually the whole world. Basically, the four corners of the earth, meaning that was scattered throughout the world. Okay, with that, let me get uh, James one and one. Remember the point: Israel was scattered, and it, and it, and, that, and that's still going on up until this day. And this in this captivity, we're proud of us being scattered uh, from this captivity. You know, we're scattered in, uh, in, in America, Canada. Uh, on the, uh, in the uh, Caribbean, okay, in Europe, India. All right, uh, read that. James chapter 1 and verse 1. Mm-hmm. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. So we, we are all the way in the New Testament, and the Most High told us, I said I would scatter them in, in corners. So when you when you go into this time in the book of James, they're still a product of these people that the Most High said will be scattered. So read that from the top again. James, a servant of God mm-hmm. and of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh-huh. to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. So that was scattered abroad around the whole world. It's uh, he he was uh, how 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 can you say wait how can you say if the Most High said that we would be scattered around the whole world, how can we say that? Uh, our people weren't in Greek, Greece. Our people wasn't in Rome. How can we say that if God said from the beginning that we'll be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth? So we're just going to skip over uh, the Greek being in Greece. We're just going to sk- uh, skip over being in, uh, in uh, Rome. It makes no sense, okay? Uh, with that, let me get First Maccabees 1 and 1. So we're going to prove the point that we were scattered in Greece. We were, sc- we were scattered in Rome, like we scattered, we've been scattered over here in America today. So let me get First Maccabees 1 and 1. First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse, and verse 1. Mm-hmm. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Shittim, mm-hmm. has smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, uh-huh. that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. The first over Greece, okay. This is Alexander the Greek. And that, uh, and this is something, uh, this is world history. This is something that we learned in school about Alexander the Greek, okay. You can read about him. You can Google him, okay. And it's translating into the Bible, okay. Let me get uh, verse 41. And we're going to read down to uh, verse 50. First, Ma- First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 41. Mm-hmm. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. So King Antiochus was one of the four generals that came out of, uh, that, that came out of uh, the rule of uh, uh, Alexander the Greek. So... Uh, this he Alexander the Greek was uh, had passed during this time. He was put to death. So Antiochus was one of the generals that came out of out of the rulership of Alexander the Greek. So read read that from the top again. First Maccabees chapter one and verse forty one. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, mm-hmm. and every one should leave his laws. So that's that's America today, the, the great melting pot, all one people. Okay, read on. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. So that's showing you they had other heathen, other nations that was in Greece. So it just wasn't the Greeks. So how can you say that uh, that the Israelites were in, wasn't in Greece? Okay, if all the other heathen were there, all nations there is it, similar to America today. We, you know, we're here today. So how can you say that Israelites weren't in Greece during this time? All heathen were there. Read on, but uh, read, read that. Verse 43. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. So it's telling you that the Israelites were there. Read on. 
and scattered unto idols mm -hmm. and profane the Sabbath. So we, we were profane the Sabbath like we are today, all people in Christianity and Islam. We profane the Sabbath today. Read on. Verse 44. For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Like today. Okay. Now they're, they're trying to come down on us so we can follow the strange laws of, the, of this land. They don't want us going against uh, the laws of this land and, and, and going back to our laws, the, the laws that God gave us. Read on. Verse 45. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple. And that they should profane the Sabbaths and fest festival days. So they, they couldn't they couldn't sacrifice uh, uh, to the Most High. They couldn't they couldn't they couldn't keep their uh, uh, the drink offerings and the uh, and the different uh, 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 sacrifices. sacrifices. They couldn't they couldn't keep the sacrifices uh, to to the Most High. Read on, verse forty six. And pollute the sanctuary and holy people. And, and, and as a result of that, that's what was going on. They polluted the sanctuary and their people, the holy people. Read on. Verse 47. Set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts. So they, they turned to sacrifice an unclean beast, a uh, beast that wasn't lawful in the dietary law. Read on. That they should also leave their children uncircumcised. Read that from the top again. Verse 48. That they should also leave their children uncircumcised. Remember that point. Leave their, ch their children uncircumcised. Read on. And make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and, prof and profanation. So they, they, they got into all type of sins, and they, they went away from the, uh, the, the, the law of circumcision. Okay. Read on. Verse 49. To the end, they might forget the law. To the end what? That they might forget the law. Remember that point to the end that they might forget the law. They would go away from the laws of, of the Lord. Read on. And change all the ordinances. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, mm -hmm. he sh said he should die. Well, they were put to death. And it resembles just like in America today. If we didn't follow, the, when we came over here as slaves, if, if we didn't follow uh, uh, the white image of Christ, Christi uh, the face of Christianity, we were put to death. It's same thing. Same thing happened. They used the same tactic to break us, okay? Uh, let me get uh, first Maccabee, second Maccabees 6 and 6. Second Maccabees chapter 6 and verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So you couldn't say that you was a Jew. Just like today, we can't say that they, they, they come against us if we say we're the Jews. Uh, so they say, so, and, 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 to, and really, they don't want us to keep the Sabbath day now. They want to keep us apart from each other today. We know. Verse 7. And in the day of the king's birth, every month they were brought by bitter constraint mm -hmm. to eat of the sacrifices. And when the feast of Bac Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in pr procession. So the, the Feast of Bacchus is going into your, uh, the carnivals and all your different uh, uh, Caribbean Day parades and that they have uh, in the Caribbean, okay? So they're still really doing that today. But the root of it comes from the, the time of the Greeks. Read on. To Bac Bacchus, carrying ivory, I ivy. Mm -hmm. Verse 8, moreover, there went out a decree to the neighboring cities of the heathen mm -hmm. by the suggestion of Ptolemy against the Jews that they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. Just like today, if we not, uh, if we not into Christianity, Islam, they, they, they have a problem with that. If we're trying to keep the laws of the Lord and trying to assemble ourselves together, it's a problem with that. Read on. Verse 9, and whoso would not conform themselves to the manner of the Gentiles shall be put to death. Shall be what? Be put to death. So... If we, if we, if we, just like today, we were, we were put to death during that time. J just like today, we were put to death when our ancestors came over here. They were put to death if they didn't follow the white image of Christ. Okay? Uh, give me the pictures of uh, those pictures. So let's show that the Israelites were in, uh, were in Greece. Okay? Read that right there, uh, Austin. 
Okay, this is the book of uh, Blacks in Antiquita. Antiquity. Frank M. Snowden, Jr., uh, page 60. Bronze statue, perhaps of a street singer. Hellenistic. Hair, oh, yeah. hair somewhat similar to that of Bus des uh, described below, mm -hmm. figure 61, which it also resembles with respect to nose, though the lips are a little thicker. Okay, who, who has... Uh, broad nose and thick lips today, okay. Uh, and I, I've never seen a uh, a heathen actually where they have uh, twists like that, okay. Go, now show the picture. You know, and the guy I'm looking at feminine, you know, because this, this is how they were in those times. Hellenistic. Let's look, let's get the definition. Uh, then we'll go back to this. Let's get the definition of uh, Hellenistic or Hellenist. You can see that. Hellenistic, relating to Greek history, language, and culture from the death of Alexander the Great to the defeat of Cleopatra and Mark Antony by Octavian in 31 BC. During this period, Greek culture flourished, uh, spreading through the Mediterranean and into the Near East and Asia, and centering on Alexandria and Egypt and Pergamia and Turkey. Pergamum and per Turkey. Okay, so it's another definition that, that uh, goes a little bit in depth, and, and it tells you uh, that them being Jews. Put it in Hellenists. Because Hellenistic is just uh, Hellenistic Jew. There we go right there. At the, down the second, the second to the last one on the bottom. Okay. All right. You read it. Mm -hmm. Hellenistic Judaism was a form of Judaism in classical antiquity that combined Jewish religions, traditions with elements of Greek culture mm -hmm. until the fall of the Western Roman Empire in the early. Muslim conquests of the Eastern Mediterranean. The main centers of Hellenistic Judaism were Alexandria and Egypt and Antioch and Syria. Syria. Syria, yeah. Now, in southern Turkey, the two main Greek urban settlements of the Middle Eastern and North Africa region, both founded at the end of the 4th century BCE in the wake of the conquest of Alexander the Great. Mm -hmm. Hellenistic Judaism also existed in Jerusalem during the Second Temple period, where there was conflict between Hellenizers and traditionalists, sometimes called Judaizers. So it says Hellenistic Judaism also existed in Jerusalem during the Second Temple period, where there was conflict between Hellenizers and traditionalists, sometimes called Juda Judaism. And that's biblical. And we're going to go into the scripture and show that conflict that was going on. All right? Uh, go ahead. Read that part where it says the two main Greek urban settlements. And then pull up the... Um, the one I sent you about um, ethnicity, uh, where it says uh, the two main Greek urban settlements. It's in the middle, right after Turkey. Yeah, the two main. I see. The two main Greek urban settlements of the Middle Eastern and North African region. Okay, stop. Can you can you uh, pull that up? Go up to white. What does it say for white? White, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. So basically what it's telling you is that most of the white people had inhabited or the Edomites had inhabited that area. That's why when you look up ethnicity, that's why they, they would say Christ is a Middle Eastern person. Because they're still applying it to him being a white man because they've already inhabited that area. That's why when you read it, it says North, Middle Eastern or North African. And pull up the other one that we just had. 
So under white, it says Middle Eastern and North African. Mm -hmm. Now read the two main Greek settlements. The two main Greek urban settlements of the Middle East and North Africa so region. most of the uh, Hellenistic period in that area consisted of Edomites. And that's how we got caught up in that. So right. but go ahead, officer. Good point, good point. Right, and, and, and when we went to Maccabees, go to Maccabees 1 and 1 to back up what uh, Officer Eli brought out. Yeah, first, just, we, just 1 and 1. First Maccabees. Matter of fact, we'll read on down. First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it happened, after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Shittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, mm -hmm. that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. The first over Greece. Read on. And made many wars. And made what? Many wars. So they was conquering these lands. When you make war, you, you they weren't making war just, just war. They were trying to take the lands, take the goods. Read on. And won many strongholds uh -huh. and slew the kings of the earth. Meaning the, the dark nations. Read on. And went through to the ends of the earth uh -huh. and took spoils of many nations. That, 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 there you go again. The land is a spoil. You know, gold, silver is a spoil. Read on. The people was a spoil. The people was a spoil. Exactly. And so much that the earth was quiet before him. Just like today, the earth is quiet before America. Okay, America does what it want to do. Okay. The earth is quiet when it comes to America. They don't have nothing to say. Read on. Whereupon he was exalted, and his heart was lifted up. So he got prideful, just like Trump is prideful today. These are the same people. It's nothing changed. They're the same people. Read on. And he gathered a mighty strong host mm -hmm. and ruled over countries. So he, he gathered a mighty strong army because he had other nations that were other nations and nationalities that was a part of their army. Read on. And nations and kings mm -hmm. who became tributaries unto they, him. So they paid taxes to him. They paid tributaries to 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 uh, uh, Alexander. Okay. With that, let's let's go back to the pictures again. Let's pull the pictures up one more time. Then we're gonna go in the New Testament and show how this relates to the New Testament. Okay. Let me read that. Uh, can you can you see that? Yeah, I got. It. I got All right. It right here. Uh, page eighty-seven. Small bronze bust of a young child of neck. Nilitic type, mm -hmm. Hellenistic printed as the front frontispiece in H. Reed. Right. So this is another uh, Israelite that was uh, they have made a sculpture of in Greece. Is there another one on that? And he was a Hellenist or Greek. Hellenist is another word for Grecian or Greek. That's it on that one. Yeah, read that. Yeah. Bronze statue of boyish altar, Hellenistic Alexandrian, mm -hmm. rather long, tightly curled hair, mm -hmm. nose and lips negroid, but negroid, but not extreme. Now they're just trying to throw you off, but not extreme. Okay, but now how can it not be extreme? Nose and lips, tightly curled hair. Okay, you go to the to the one on the bottom. Bronze statue of of, of boy. Perhaps also an orator, Hel Hellenistic. Hellenistic, okay. Tightly curled, short hair, round face, neither lips nor nose extreme. S some nasal... Uh, pro pro That's it on that. Okay. So basically, it's the same thing. But they, they throw little certain words in there to throw you off, okay? So let's go to... Acts 6 and 1. The book of Acts 6 and 1. Acts chapter 6 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. And in those days when the oh, number... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's, let's start with... Uh, let's go to Acts 2 and 41. Let's start with 2 and 41. Acts chapter 2 and verse 41. Mm -hmm. Then they that gladly received the, his word so, were baptized. So after the gospel started to be preached, after the death of Christ, okay, and, and our people started repenting, read on. In the same day, there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. So as our people started repenting, like, like what's going on today, during this time, uh, this was the Greco-Roman period. So... 
mind you, our people was coming out of that, that Greek period, okay, where they were put to death if they didn't follow follow uh, the, the laws of the Greeks. So they were circumcising their children. So they were considered Greeks. So just like us today, we were being Americans. It, it, we, had to, we conformed to it. It became a way of life to us. Just like today, us being Americans, we're doing the things that America do, the so-called the Edomites of America do. During this time, we were doing the same thing, okay? We didn't know, who, we, we didn't know that we were all, all the Jews. Well, we, we knew we were Jews, but we didn't follow those laws of the Jews. We didn't circumcise our children, and it became a way of life to us because we, we were broke in, during this period. When you come into the New Testament, that's when we had been broke. Like now us today, our people have been broke. So now during this time, we were broke. So it was, we, we did it willingly, okay? Read on. So, so as the gospel were preached, our people started to repent and realize that they were breaking God's laws. Read on. Verse 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. In the apostles' doctrine. Read on. In fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Right. So, that, so I, they, that, due to that, uh, the apostles preaching, preaching the gospel and preaching that doctrine, our people started to repent and come out of those Greek, those Greek ways. Okay. Jump over to verse uh, 4 and 4. Acts chapter 4 and 4. Acts chapter 4, verse 4. Mm -hmm. How be it, many of them which heard the word believed, mm -hmm. and the number of the men was about 5,000. So it was growing more and more. It went from 3,000 to 5,000. Okay, so our people were repenting. We were coming out of those Greek fashions. We don't, uh, matter of fact, jump, go to uh, 2 Maccabees 4 and 13. And then we'll go back to, then we'll go back to the book of Acts. Thir I think it's 2 Maccabees, is it 4 and 13? 2 Maccabees, chapter 4, verse 13. Mm-hmm. Now, such was the height of Greek fashions. Of Greek, the height of Greek fashions. Read on. Or and, ways. Read on. An increase of heathenish manners. Gentile manners. Other nations' manners. Read on. Through the exceeding prof profaneness of jo Jason. And, and the heathen are profane today. The, things that, the, the way that they live is profane. It's against God. Read on. That, ungod that ungodly wretch. So read that part again about who? Through the exceeding profaneness of J Jason. Jason was all people what, that were Israelite that was living, uh, that lived under the Greek fashion and really hated his people. Read on. That ungodly wretch. So he was one of the ungodly ones of, of that time during the Greek captivity. Read on. And no high priest. Right. Read on. That the priest had no courage to serve anymore at the altar. And we just read that earlier about... Uh, that we profaned the Sabbath and we weren't offering sacrifices. Read on. But despising the temple. So we despised the temple. We didn't, we, did, we, 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 we hated the, the, the temple and offering sacrifices. Read on. It's just like today. Just like today. Our people can't stand God's laws. Read. But they want to uh, They want to keep the laws right. of their captivity. Right. They have no problem celebrating uh, 4th of July. Right. Memorial, Memorial Day. Memorial Day and all them things. They got no problem with it. Right. Good point. Uh. Verse 14, that the priests had no courage to serve anymore at the altar. Right. But despising the temple. In despise the, the temple. Like all people despise God's laws. The same thing. The, the temple was where the law was bring, being brought forth. And all people despised it. Read on. And neglecting the sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Hasten to the partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise. They, they did what now? Hasten, Hasten to be partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise. So they couldn't wait to be, be uh, they couldn't wait to get into that gymnasium, those sports. Read on. After the game of discus, uh -huh. call, called them forth. Mm -hmm. Is that it on that? Uh, I think it's a little bit more on that. Verse 15. Right. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. Like today, we're not setting to the honor of our fathers. Read on. But. Like in the glory of the Grecians, best of all. Like, like, to, like we love the Americans today, best of all. We don't, we don't want to come back to God's laws. Read on. By reason whereof, sore calamity came upon them. Mm -hmm. For they had them to be their enemies and avengers. Like today, uh, sore calamities are coming upon us. 
okay, COVID-19, okay, uh, Esau uh, killing our people in the streets. You know, Saul Calamity is coming upon us today. Read on. Whose custom they followed so earnestly. Shit, like today, we we followed American uh, custom so earnestly. Read on. That they follow, uh, whose customs they followed so earnestly, and unto whom they desired to be like in all things. So we desire to be like Americans, like we wanted to be like the Greeks at this time. Read on. For it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws of God. Is that it on that? I think but the time following shall declare these things. I think that's it. I was just one to 15. Down to 15. So let's go back to Acts. Uh, read 4 and 4 again. Acts chapter 4, verse 4. Mm -hmm. How be it, many of them which heard the word believed, mm -hmm. and the number of the men was about 5,000. So 5,000 were repenting at this time. Now go to Acts 6 and 1. Acts chapter 6, verse 1. And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multi multiplied. So, so just like today, the number of the disciples are being multiplied. So uh, in the Israelite community, whatever, you know, you got different camps. And we are multiplying just like during this time. Read on. And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. So the Grecians were the one that was coming out of the, uh, the ways of the Greeks, okay? And the Hebrews were the one that was keeping the laws, okay? Read on. Because their widows were, ne their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Okay, that's it on that. Uh, daily ministration is just going into uh, widows being taken care of. Uh, uh, go to Acts 16 and 1. Acts, chapter 16 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Then came he to Debris, Derby, Derby and Lystra. Lystra. And behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy. And this is going to Timothy. So Timothy was a Greek also. His Greek name, uh, Timotheus. But Timothy was a Greek also. Read, read on. The son of a certain woman, which was a Jewish and believed. So she followed the, law, the laws of the Lord. Okay, read on. But his father was a Greek. But his father was still caught up in, that, in those, those Greek customs. Okay, he was caught up in those Greek customs. Read on. Verse 2, which was well reported, reported of by the brethren that were at Lystra. So Timothy had a, 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 a good report. He had, it was a good report on Timothy. Read on. And Iconium. 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 Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Him would Paul have to go forth with him and took and circumcised him because of the Jews which were in those quarters. Mm -hmm. For they knew all that his father was a Greek. So that goes back to the book of Maccabees. They couldn't circumcise. It was against the laws of the Greek to, uh, to circumcise your children. So Timothy's father being a Greek, he didn't circumcise Timothy. So that's why Paul had to take him to be circumcised because he couldn't be teaching the the, the gospel, and you had the scribes, Pharisees, uh, and the followers of them uh, who would uh, criticize him for not being circumcised, teaching the gospel. So it, it, it was uh, important for him to be circumcised, to teach the gospel. Is that, a, is that it on that? Uh, yeah, that was it on that. Uh, now let me get uh, Galatians 3 and 28. So when we actually go through the Bible, since we proved the point that there were Israelites in uh there were Israelites in uh, Greek, and now that we've proven the point, now we can better go into this Bible and see when it's speaking about Greeks, it's actually speaking about the Israelite that was Israelites that was in Greek. At, uh, Galatians three and twenty-eight, it'd be my last scripture right here. Galatians chapter three. In verse 28, mm -hmm. there is neither Jew nor Greek. So there's neither what? There is neither Jew nor Greek. So there was neither uh, Jews, one that was one, the ones that was actually keeping the laws, read on, and, and Greek, nor Greek, meaning the ones that uh, that were converted, converted or <coughs> were, were in a process of being converted. So it's no difference because they were both Israelites. Read that from the top again. Verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. So there's neither, neither Jew, just like today, 
us being, we call ourselves Israelites and all people in the world that have not repented yet, uh, we consider still, even though they uh, haven't uh, repented yet, uh, they're still Israelites. But they have an American uh, mindset. Just like we come, in, uh, into, into, we come in out of that, we came out of that, and now we are keeping the laws of, of the Lord, but they're still in that American mindset. So there's no difference between us, though. Just like during this time, Jew nor Greek, ones that are keeping the laws and ones that weren't keeping the law. Read on. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Mm -hmm. There is neither bond nor free. Mm -hmm. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. So we were, we were all one at this time. So this basically is going to, uh, they can repent also, basically, because they were both Israelites. You know, this wasn't a so-called Edomite that was uh, considered a Greek. This was, this was because uh, uh, you had all nations living in, in, in the, the land of Greek. It's just like America today, the great melting pot. It's the same philosophies. So with that, with that we're going to say shalom. I hope you was edified and, are, and now are able to go into the scriptures and, and uh, be able to distinguish uh, when it's speaking about Greeks. That, that was the whole point of this. We want to show you the... We want to be able to edify you and show you that when it's going into Greeks, it's actually talking about Israelites. With that, we'll say shalom. Shalom, Israel. I'm also Yikiel. Shalom, Israel. Most high Christ bless. Also not shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.